talked about the other day in terms of turnovers. Um, how big a concern is that for you? I and mean, Anthony made a comment after the game that they're trying to make harder plays than they have to. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's a huge concern. I mean, it's four, four straight games now. Now we're going on the road, you know, playing in a tough environment. And uh, we can't, you know, we can't have 17 or 18 turnovers and expect to win. So um, we continue to talk about it. Uh, we continue to work on things. We had a really good practice yesterday to hopefully, you know, get everybody on the same page and thinking a little bit clearly. Um, I do think we've played two pretty good defensive teams the last couple games. Had a little bit to do with it, but our decision making, and like Anthony said, just got to make easy plays sometime and not try to hit the home run. So hopefully that'll help us because we're shooting a really good percentage. So let's let's get shots up, and uh, and we're rebounding well. So let's get shots up. So. It's a, it's a major concern, but it's early. We have a young team, and um, I like to think we're just going to get better with that as the goes, season goes on. James in the back. Uh, last year, you guys talked a lot about how you thought where you missed Melo the most was on the road in terms of his, his presence. Um, so just what do you see this year in terms of do you just expect everybody to step up as one or somebody to kind of take over that Melo role this year? Well, yeah. I, I, you know, he's been gone a couple of years now, so um, I think we have a better team this year than we had last year. Now we'll see as the season goes on if we can stay healthy. Um, I think this team's going to continue to grow. Uh, we are playing five young guys in our top eight, so we'll, we'll see um, how it goes Thursday night. But um, I like to think our defense and rebounding is better than it was last year. I think that helps you. Um, and we do have an inside presence this year with Sticks and Bruno. I think that helps you. Um, and we've shown the ability to get to the foul line. We haven't shot the free throws great, but we've shown the ability to get there, and I think that helps you too. So there's a lot of things that we're doing well um, that is conducive to winning on the road. Um, there's some things that we're not doing well that's not conducive, but. Uh, so I think there's a lot of things that are pointing in the right direction, but uh, you know we'll see when we get out there and how we react to it because it's a it's a whole other animal for us to get used to. Bruce, uh, coach, talk about the difficulties that uh, Carson Edwards and their sharpshooter Ryan Klein. Uh, that combination can be deadly. Yeah, I'm not sure there's really any way to guard Carson Edwards because um, he's so fast. He can split ball screens. They do a lot of ball screen handoffs. They bring him off triples, bring him off doubles. Um, he's got the ultimate green light, um, and he can shoot from deep range. Um, so yeah, he's he's a special player, and um, you know, hopefully we can do a job like we did on Stevens Lamar this last weekend, where he got 19 points on 24 shots. Hopefully, if Carson gets. 22 points he does it on a lot of shots um, that's going to be the key so and then Klein's a big time shooter with a high release um, he's got to push him off the line and be there and got to be alert all game but uh, you know their whole team almost 50% of their shots are from three I mean, that's a lot I think they average 33s a game uh, that's a lot I thought Penn State shot a lot at 26 so um, we're going to have to be alert and get out and, and guard guys and, and know we're going to give up some, but um, those are the two guys that are one and two uh, on their team and field goal percentage from the three-point line, so we've got to be aware of that. Consulting engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, Call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Patrick, Mark, with the defense that the Sticks played the other night, um, how much does that, if he can continue to do that, change what you're able to do, um, not just with who you have on the floor at a given time, but, a lot, but overall, go move for him? Yeah, I, I think um, all our young guys are getting a little bit better defensively. Um, you know, he made strides, a couple of the guys went a little bit backwards, but that, that was nice. I, I thought as the game went on, he got better. Um, I think he followed the scouting report, which is huge. Um, and um, he took away some strengths of that 
can use his length to, uh, to do that. So now we're playing Purdue, it's a different deal. He's gonna be chasing a shooter around. <laughs> um, Lamar is a great player, but three point shooting is not his specialty. Uh, even though he made a big one against us in the game. Um, so it's a little bit different. So we'll see. Um, can he get through screens and get there and be out there on shooters? And it's asking a lot out of, out of him. But um, for us to get where we need to be, he needs to do that. Because I'd like to stay big lineup as much as we can. Because I think offensively, uh, we're pretty good. Um, and we're hard to guard uh, in that lineup. Coach, matching wits with Matt Painter. You guys have had some interesting games the last yeah. couple of years. What, what do you have to prepare for when taking on one of his producers? Yeah, Matt, Matt's a great coach. And uh, I've known Matt forever, since my Wichita State days. He was a young assistant for Bruce Weber at Southern Illinois, and they did a terrific job. So, um, you know, they're just so hard to guard. And, and they, they, they got a transfer, a fifth-year transfer, and, and um, they're playing him at the five, and he's, he's like a guard out there, um, six, seven. It makes it really hard to guard. So really it comes down to matchups when they're changing their lineups or playing nine or 10 guys, being alert to that um, and, and how we're gonna guard them. Um, but in the end, it's, it's, it's about trying to play the way that we're comfortable playing and the way that, that we think we can be successful in this game. That's what it comes down to. But um, in the end, it's about the players and, and, and trying to guard Carson Edwards and Ryan Klein and, and all that stuff. But now Matt's a great coach and a great guy. And he's, he's done a super job at Purdue. Tom? Mark, with, with Anthony, is, it, is there a fine line between playing with a chip on your shoulder and, and, and not turning it into a personal one-on-one -on -one where he, like, and again, you know, obviously uh, Thursday with, with Carson Edwards being the preseason Big Ten player of the year, that he doesn't try to, you know, do it all himself, which he at times tried to do sometimes last year. Yeah, I, I think it's a new Anthony. Um, obviously, Anthony was disappointed in the way he played uh, Saturday until the end. He made some big shots, um, but the turnovers he was disappointed in. I, I don't think Anthony will make it that way. Um, uh, I know he respects Carson. We all do. Um, it's a little bit different animal. Uh, I think Carson's getting a lot more shots up than Anthony, and, and Anthony's just trying to do things to help us win. So two different teams, but I don't think Anthony will get caught up in that. Anthony's going to do what he has to do, and, and hopefully he's going to you know, value the ball a little bit more on Thursday night. Scott Taylor. Mark, playing so many newcomers, and this being probably one of the toughest environments you'll face, is there anything as a coach you can say to these guys or you know, to kind of prepare them for what they're going to face out there on Thursday night? No, not really. I, I, I think you can talk about it all you want. Um, my young guys were nervous at home versus Virginia. I mean, cause that was a big crowd, so, and everybody was rooting for them. Um, you know, it took them a while to get, but as the game went on, they got, so I like to think that, um, you know, uh, hopefully our veterans can can help us early in that game, then guys will get more comfortable as it goes on. We can hang around a little bit. Um, but sometimes, you know, the young guys are also naive and they can just go out and play, and, and uh, hopefully they'll do that. But um, um, they continue to get better. They like big moments. Um, and, uh, you know, I expect them to play well. And, and, um, and I think as the year goes on, we'll just get better and better out there. Last one for Dante. In terms of the big guys, um, you know, a couple of years ago you had two two guys in, in Robert and, and Diamond, um, and, and it it seemed like it never it, it, it just did never consistently work in inside to get an inside presence like you are now with, with these two guys. What would you say the biggest difference with these two guys in terms of the way they approach the game and 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 sort of their the way they complement each other. Yeah, you know, I think um, we use Robert. You know, Robert was a good low post scorer, but we, we put him on the perimeter a little bit more. Diamond was a terrific low post scorer. Um, you know, we played big lineups that whole Sweet 16 year with Checo and DeMonte, and um, we stayed big most of the time because we didn't have enough guards. We weren't able to go small with Jake at the four. But, um, 
these guys are starting to get, they're getting better at feeding off each other and recognizing mismatches and one goes low, one goes high. It's been a process for us. Um, I think that um, Bruno has really accepted doing what he needs to do to be successful uh, for us. Um, and, and it shows by the way he's playing. And right now, physically, uh, in some games, it's easier for sticks to be on the perimeter. Uh, to be down low, but I thought he showed some signs the other day and in the Virginia game of being physical. So, and then as a coach, you're always, you're, 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 you're trying to figure it out. So, um, we got to get a lot better, you know, in our system, those two got to work together and feed off each other. And I think it's still coming, like whether it's transition, whether it's a half court set or after a set breaks down and what we're flowing into. Um, but they do, and luckily for me, um, they both like to be down there. Some of them like to score down there. They know it's an important part of the game. But I just think defensively is where they've just been terrific, protecting the rim and rebounding. Uh, our rebounding numbers are, you know, really to this point pretty darn good. Um, and those two have a lot to do with it. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.